The moment is upon us. The X League playoffs and a rematch of perhaps the most thrilling game of the season. As the Seattle Thunder face off against the number two ranked Chicago Blitz. The winner advances to the X Cup. It's the playoffs next. Glad to have you with us in our X League broadcast booth alongside Lane Grigg. I'm Kit McConico in Elaine. Well, game one, a rematch we saw in the regular season. It is Seattle taking on Chicago yet again. It was decided in the offseason Seattle would host the playoffs. What impact do you think the fans will have on rookie quarterback for Chicago, Stephanie Raymond? People have been doubting Stephanie Raymond all year. Can she go to Atlanta, her first game under center, and win? Check. Now, there's no way she's going to be able to beat the previously number one ranked Seattle Thunder. She did that too, played a heck of a game. She's calm, she's poised, she's going to be fine. There's going to be a lot of attention tonight on Chicago's high-powered offense. The key to Seattle's postseason success may well rest in the hands of their defense. But the opportunity to sit down earlier with their star safety, Nene Gleaves, to talk about the defensive preparation for Chicago. Yeah, absolutely. Stephanie Raymond, as we know, she had a successful game against us. Her run game, pass game was, you know, amazing. Defensively for me, Dean, I was not containing edge. So that's something that I had to make adjustments on these last few weeks. Um, secondary, we made a few personnel changes. Um, but ultimately, it was embarrassing for us. That's something I'm taking on my backs. My teammates are taking on their backs. So we're excited. We've been working hard. We've been putting in a lot of work. So I'm ready for this game. We'll see if Nene Gleaves and the Seattle defense can contain Chicago's star dual threat quarterback Stephanie Raymond. It's game one of the X League playoffs next. We are finally ready for semifinal number one. Stephanie Raymond leading the Chicago Blitz. And what a year the rookie from Rockford, Illinois has had. Second in the league in a rushing offensive player of the year and league MVP nominee. And looking to put her side ahead early on. Chicago and Seattle. And Chicago is going to take this one all the way in. One play, all it takes for the Blitz, and they find pay dirt taking it coast to coast. Tamika Robinson. And could you ask for a better start for the Chicago Blitz than this right here? Getting into the bag of tricks, it's a reverse. No one from Seattle is at home, and it is taking it all the way to the house. A touchdown, Tamika Robinson, and a dream start for the Chicago Blitz. Robinson, the most explosive, dynamic, gifted athlete on her team, says head coach State of Lewis, and you saw it right there. Chicago going for two. The handoff and across and in. Waiting for the signal and JaVale Thompson able to get across in Chicago. A dream start for the visitors. Absolutely, the left side of the line. Look at that, two pancake blocks on the same play. I probably could have run through that hole. What a great job. Touchdown, two point conversion, perfect start. Let's see if the defense can match them. Lane, remember, this is a rematch of what we saw back in week seven, and that was a barn burner between these two. Ultimately, Chicago came away 34 to 28 with the win at home. So KK Matheny, the star quarterback, league's number two ranked QB, six passes, four touchdowns, no interceptions for the MVP nominee. Her team down early. How did the Thunder respond? A handoff, Dominique Malloy around the edge. Malloy bottled up and brought down. Great gain. It'll be a new set of downs after the big gain for Malloy. And we were expecting offense, and so far we are getting it. Chunk plays on both sides of the ball, a sweep around the left side. Good blocking. Everybody is engaged. Move the sticks, and let's do it again. Seattle's offense, they lead the league in scoring 112 points in two games. Matheny to the air, incomplete, unable to find Kiara Williams. Take a look at the Thunder offense. KK Matheny, quarterback. Nicole Hulse, your running back. Kiara Williams, wide receiver. Seattle. They have an embarrassment of riches at running back. Hulse, Malloy, and Gleaves, the three-headed monster, all have speed. Empty backfield pressure in the face of Matheny. Throws this one incomplete. It'll bring up third down for the Thunder. Chicago, one of the top defenses. Take a look at the starters for the Blitz. 
Kristen Kampa, middle linebacker. Labrinthia Murdoch, corner. Jade Austin, safety. Chicago's defense ranked third in the league. What a job they've done, led by star middle linebacker Kristen Kampa, second in the league in tackles. Chicago may be surprise of the year, particularly the play of their offense, not to anyone in the Windy City. Big play, fourth and three. Matheny, pressure in her face. Matheny, complete first down and then some. The Thunder into blitz territory and all the way down inside the 15. What a big fourth down. That was a play that was almost a disaster for Seattle, but a sidearm throw out to the receiver. A great catch. She's double teamed and it still doesn't matter. Hanging on for the ride is the Chicago defense and a big conversion for the Seattle Thunder. Again, Dominique Malloy, the speedster out of Nevada, shows off the wheels there. And if she gets it open field, chances are she is not going to stop until she gets to the end zone. A new set of downs, first and 10 from the 13 for the Thunder, looking to respond after conceding to the blitz early. Two in the backfield. Williams, the player in motion. The handoff to Malloy. Malloy, there's a flag that comes in. Malloy pushed out at the five, but we'll have to check on the flag. I think, Kent, you can see how no one's celebrating. Probably means it's going to be against the Thunder here. The penalty declined. Chicago lined up inside the neutral zone. Jeff Sidoris are official for tonight's contest. There is the head man of the Thunder, Chris Michelson, the veteran coach, and he does it all. Offensive, defensive coordinator, it all goes through Coach Michelson. That man wears a lot of hats, kid. He has a lot on his plate. Seattle, the number three seed, very high expectations coming into this season. They had a huge victory back in week three, took down Denver 84 to 26, the highest output of any game this season. Those 84 points and that loss against Chicago on the road and coming through, Kristen Beep Beep Holmes with a huge hit for a loss. I tell you what, you want to learn how you feel, you want to learn how you set an edge right here and you have contained, watch 21, Kristen Beep Beep Holmes. That is a cruise missile getting into the backfield, one-on-one -on -one tackle, slammed to the turf. And if they're going to play defense like that, anytime they try to run outside, it's going to be a long game for Seattle. That was very, very impressive. Coach Lewis calls it their sonic package. It is all speed, and you saw it right there from number 21, Kristen Holmes. Second and goal. Little sidearm throw has her target. Tackled immediately was Jackman after the reception. Looks similar to that big fourth down conversion play, a little roll out to the side, a little bit of pressure in the face. KK Matheny, that's not gonna bother her. That ball's right on the body. Good throw, good catch. Sets you up for third and really short to get that first touchdown of the game for Seattle. Big play here for Matheny and company. Five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Game one in today's doubleheader. We'll have the one seed Atlanta and the four seed Austin coming up. Hope you'll join us for that as well. Matheny again rolling out. Matheny has her target. This is knocked away. Tried to thread the needle. Jackman couldn't come up with it. Chicago blitz all over that one. Maybe a case of going to the well just one time too often. Again, another roll out to the right from Matheny. Pretty lucky that ball wasn't picked off right there by number 15 in Vander Hayden. She was all over that play right there. Good defense setting up a crucial fourth and goal for the Seattle Thunder. Vander Hayden, the one that Coach Lewis said to keep an eye on. She is having a monster season, is the star safety. Fourth and goal. Matheny, this one batted and caught. It finds Savannah Wood. Luck on the side of Seattle. Touchdown for the Thunder. And just when you think Chicago's going to get out of here with no points, it goes from an interception to a touchdown just like that. 
Great job on the tip ball from Savannah Wood from her tight end position. Johnny on the spot, heads up play, a touchdown, and we'll see what they can do on the two-point conversion attempt. Coach Sidney Lewis there to the left of the screen, a head coach of the Blitz. Says his side have not gotten the respect they deserve. A lot of teams have looked past them this season, but they are 2-0 in the two seed for good reason. Looking to tie things up. Matheny under center. Pitches it back and hit immediately. Kristen Holmes there. Great pursuit again from number 21. I'm going to tell you what, when they get Kristen Holmes there up on the line, sort of like a Buffalo nickel, that safety up there in the box being an extra linebacker, she is coming and she is coming with bad intentions. That's twice in a row she's met that ball carrier five yards in the backfield and made a great play. And they call her beat beat because she is the road runner, an absolute burner, and we've seen it twice. Field go, the blitz. They're going to actually mark him in Seattle territory. Great run from JaVale Thompson as we take a look at the blitz offense. Stephanie Raymond, quarterback. JaVale Thompson, running back. Tamika Robinson, wide receiver. Tamika Robinson, the number two receiver in the league. You saw Murdoch as well. There's a lot of talent along with the league's third leading rusher in Thompson. Raymond, empty backfield, steps up to throw, going deep. Raymond off the fingertips of her receiver. It would have been a blitz touchdown, just couldn't bring it in. That was Tamika Robinson. Seattle, a star defense, and hear how the Thunder line things up on the defensive 31, side. Nene McClain. Savannah Wood, Lumberjack at middle linebacker. Kira Williams, safety. Yara Williams, the Sammamish Washington native, one of the captains. She is the tone setter on both sides of the ball, is number one, and the flag comes in. Mistake right there from the Chicago Blitz. That wide receiver was a good five yards offside. It's pretty easy to make that call, Kit. Brings up second and 15. Two in the backfield for Raymond. A little pitch on the outside into the hands of Thompson. And Thompson bottled up immediately. Great work. Janetra Gleaves and Kiara Williams for the Thunder. And that's a good job right there from Janetra Gleaves coming in for a defensive end position. Chicago's done a great job forcing that ball, not knowing it outside. There's another good play chasing that down. Jurichu Gleaves and actually running it down from the backside. Number one, Kiara Williams, that defensive tone setter, certainly doing that right there on that play. Brings up third down. Big series here. Seattle able to respond, and Raymond bobbles this one. Raymond somehow able to escape, but can't find her target. JaVale Thompson was wide open. Couldn't come down with that, but what escapability from Stephanie Raymond. That's good concentration. It's tough to not give up on a play whenever you fumble it just like that. Great escape right there. Eyes downfield looking to make a play. Tries it hard. Someone's in her face right there. Can't quite hook up on that play right there. A timeout will be taken by Chicago. Chris Michelson, we mentioned the man who wears many hats, a veteran coach. And he is as fiery as they come. Well respected across the league. His side was decided before the season they would host the semifinals. This is a rematch of what we saw in one of the best games of the year earlier, Lane. And you've got to imagine Coach Michelson, he's been watching that film on repeat ever since week seven. And he wants this chance, not only for revenge, but a chance to send his side to the Lone Star State in the X Cup. To the air goes Raymond, going deep, has a target. And couldn't bring it in. Tamika Robinson there on the sideline, excuse me, rather, Labrinthia Murdoch, the target. 
Good arm strength right there, but a little bit of a jump ball. Receiver's really not very open, Labrinthia Murdoch. And that's a great job by number 44, Savannah Wood, catching the touchdown on one end, preventing the touchdown on the other. Good start to the game for number 44 in the Chartreuse and Black. With the police officer out of Covington, Washington, laying down the law on this one early on both sides of the ball. Matheny on first and 10, 61 seconds, and that is a world of time in the X League, particularly with these two teams. And we saw in the first play, it takes a matter of seconds for them to find a score. Receiver in motion, fake it, Matheny hit as she throws, has a target complete. Somehow able to get that one off to Nene Gleaves. It's gonna be first and goal, Seattle. And that's a great play from Seattle, but I tell you who's gonna be ticked off, and that's gonna be head coach and defensive coordinator, Sidney Lewis. There is nobody there. Clearly a missed assignment right there for the Chicago Blitz and K.K. Matheny won't have an easier completion than that one tonight. Matheny, the veteran quarterback, you could not give her those kinds of options, even with Kristen Holmes in her face, still made the accurate throw in the busted coverage. Matheny will make you pay. First and goal. Just over 10 seconds remaining as this one dropped here in quarter number one. Matheny wisely getting on top of it. But they're going to say Seattle able to take a timeout before the snap. And it's a good thing they got a timeout called too, Kit. Quarterback in the center clearly not on the same page. Center snapped that ball before the quarterback was ready for it. That might have been a fumble. Definitely was going to end up being a loss on the play. Good job by Coach Michaels to getting that time in, time out in quick enough. Lane, you wouldn't anticipate that. You know the importance of the relationship between the center and the quarterback. And there is a long-standing relationship between Christine Moore, the center, and her quarterback, K.K. Matheny. Those two have known each other. They've played together for years, particularly here in the semis. Miscommunication. She gets inside, yes. That is a little bit odd, kid. I think that quite simply on that, the, the center didn't know the snap count. I don't think there's any other explanation than that. I know the center can snap the ball. Stacy Jackman, I know she can snap it. I know KK Matheny can receive it. But if you're not on the same page, mishaps like that are going to happen. I'd say the bigger thing is this late in the season having a mishap like that. First and goal. Power eye. And hit after a slight gain was Kiara Williams. It's another big play right there by number 15, Emma Vander Hayden, knifing in through the backfield right there, defeating a block with a good rip technique using her left arm. Great job, great play. The first quarter in the books, and what a way to start off our playoffs in the X League. And it's Chicago, the two seed, leading Seattle, the three seed, eight to six after quarter number one. Where center Kent Washington for our playoff game number one in today's doubleheader in the X League. And we are off to a flying start between the two seed Chicago Blitz and the three seed Seattle Thunder. After giving up the early score, Seattle has come back and now a chance to take the lead for the first time today. So our quarterback, K.K. Matheny, second and goal from the four. So elusive, we've already seen her escape ability on more than one occasion. Matheny rolling out, pressure there. Matheny, this one off the wall. Matheny 
took a shot as well, and that's something of note, Wayne. Seattle, they are having some trouble getting bodies on those rushers from Chicago. Absolutely, you've seen good edge pressure right there coming from number 56, Stephanie Daniels. Whether it's good pressure off the edge, whether it's bringing Kristen Holmes on a blitz, whatever you call it right now, Chicago's game plan for getting to Matheny, they are executing it at a very high level. Third and goal from the four. Chicago's defense thus far bowing its neck and a whistle before the snap. And that's going to be a false start. False start for the offense right there as you heard from Jeff Sidoris. And that's big, that takes it from first and goal inside the five. Now it's third and goal outside of the five, almost to the 10. That's a big penalty right there. Lane, penalties magnified in the playoffs. You cannot make those kinds of mistakes when your season is on the line, particularly when you get in the red zone. Absolutely. You need all the help you can get. You certainly don't need to be moving backwards. From the nine, Matheny stepping back, throws this one off the fingertips. Flag comes in, was trying to link up with Kiara Williams. This may well be pass interference. I think you're gonna be right, kid. Here you go, you got a high and you got a low crosser right there. I've certainly seen worse pass interferences called than that one right there, but the rest make the decision. You had a big play against Seattle with that false start. That's a big, big play against Chicago right there, giving Seattle a first and goal right next to the goal line. Definitely advantage Thunder right now. Kristen Holmes, the star quarterback, flagged with pass interference. A new set of downs for the Thunder from the three. Matheny again has a target. That one almost intercepted. Matheny throwing behind. Labrinthia Murdoch closest to it. Couldn't come up with the pick. We highlighted this a few plays ago. The great job of edge pressure from Chicago. We're seeing it again right here. She's rolling out hard to her right. KK Matheny and there's a rusher in her face almost immediately. There it is getting to the quarterback again. It's number 56 Stephanie Daniels. Stacy Jackman that tied in on that right side for Seattle. She's having a rough go of it so far. She's going to need to get back to the basics and find a way to slow down Daniels in this Chicago blitz or it's going to be hard for Matheny. Second and goal, handoff and hit for a loss. What a stick. Kristen Campa, one of the best to do it. That is a statement maker from number seven. I'm going to tell you what, we were talking to Cindy Lewis, and he described Kristen Campa as quite possibly the top women's defensive player ever. If you doubt it after watching that play right there, you don't know what you're looking at. That is all world linebacking right there. Campa, a former University of Illinois heptathlete, and that just speaks to her versatility as an athlete. What a stick from Campa at middle linebacker. Brings up third and goal. The Seattle offense on their heels with 722 remaining in the first half. We'll take a break. It's a good one here in the Pacific Northwest. The two seed Chicago on top of the three seed Seattle. 7.22 remaining in half number one. Welcome back, Showwear Center in Kent, Washington. Sidney Lewis, head coach of the Chicago Blitz Lane. You and I have had the opportunity to get to know that man this season. He is a class act, and he has his team rolling right now. Absolutely great guy. Works for Chicago Parks and Recreation, involved heavily in the youth of Chicago's daily lives. An outstanding man. Third and goal. Huge series for both teams. Matheny rolling out. No one there. This is batted back. Knocked 
back by LaBrivia Murdoch in the face of Matheny. That Chicago defense is teeing off. Absolutely, that is fantastically athletic play. This is great coaching. You teach to rush the quarterback, and when you see what's called long arm separation, the front hand comes off the ball, the hand with the ball goes behind the shoulder, you get your hands up. That's exactly what LaBrinthia Murdoch did. And I said it wrong. I said first and goal was going to be the advantage to Seattle. Chicago's got them in fourth and goal again. Fourth and goal from the four. Matheny again. This one incomplete miscommunication. Trying for Williams. Didn't come back on the route. And it's a turnover on downs. And you can see they're talking to each other, quarterback and wide receiver. And I think miscommunication is correct, Kit. Of course, there's pressure right there as well. That ball was thrown the outside. The receiver was to the inside. I'm going to give more credit again to this Chicago game plan on getting pressure on the quarterback. It is something that right now, Chris Michelson and that Seattle Thunder offensive front, they can't handle it. First and 10 after the turnover on downs. Raymond from her own three. Raymond with the keeper and hit after a very short gain. Liz Tapler there for Seattle. And you can see that play wasn't going anywhere from the start. Why that left tight end, they couldn't get that defensive end hook blocked. It just kept stringing out to the sideline, 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 and boom, the alley player's gonna run and clean that up. That is how you play defense right there. Seattle, they know about the rushing ability of Raymond. They want to force her to throw. Their rookie quarterback, her throwing ability has come leaps and bounds. Certainly feels more comfortable on the ground. Hand off to Benita Drain, the power back across the 10 in her first carry of the ball game. Just a good stop right here by Kiara Williams coming in. She's lined up like a linebacker on this play. It looks like there's something there. That's a great open field tacker getting her to the ground. Good job staying at home. Good job reading her keys. We thought this was gonna be an offensive shootout early. We scored twice, first two scores, first two drives. Now we're halfway through this quarter and we hadn't seen another score since. Third and short, another handoff to Drain. Drain, enough for the first down as she gets across the 15. That's enough for a first down, Chicago. Good job staying committed to the run. It's always good when it's in a position as an offense, when you have to run the ball and you can run the ball. Powerful running right there by number 33, moving the change for the Chicago Blitz. Coach Lewis says Drain is there, Marshawn Lynch. And here in the Emerald City, fans know something about Beast Mode. Raymond away from one, still Raymond gets away from a third, finally wrapped up, very short gain from Stephanie Raymond. Fortunate that one wasn't for a loss. You're exactly correct. There's three or four Seattle players that have a shot. Let's count them right here on the replay. The snap's good, no one's open. There's one, there's two. Here comes number three, and the fourth one's gonna grab hold of that leg and get her onto the ground. Good job, good job with Seattle staying with it. Good job of escapability by Stephanie Raymond. And that brings up second and long. Raymond under center. Makes the handoff, takes to the air, has a target, and it is cut. Touchdown, Chicago. Wide open, Fallon Dickens, and foul smooth the rookie with her first TD of the ball game. I really like this throw, really like this play call. She's coming all the way across the formation. Throw her open, Stephanie, and that's what Stephanie Robinson did. Stephanie Raymond threw it deep all the way to the outside, let Phelan Dickinson's run under it. Great job, good touchdown, six points. 
and another score from the Chicago Blitz. Against the Nashville native, longtime flag player, first year in tackle, having a fantastic season as a two point conversion try incomplete. So it'll stay 14 to 6, Chicago on top. 4 2 remaining in the first half. And Elaine, Chicago. Both touchdowns have come on big plays for the Blitz. Absolutely, and I think that first touchdown around the left side, there are a couple of missed tackles. That one right there, you just had a defensive back get beat. It was a great play design. The wide receiver running from the left side all the way to the right. Nothing but open field over there. Stephanie Raymond dropped a dime for a touchdown, and it is certainly the explosive plays that have Chicago on top so far. Pair that with that woman right there, Kristen Campa, in the downhill defense the Blitzer playing. It is tough going right now for Matheny. A big drive here, pitches out to Holse. Holse may be back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing more. Again, and there's nothing there as far as getting to the outside. That last play, Chicago lined up with four defensive linemen. And there's just nowhere to go because when you have four down front, you're always going to be able to crash the edges hard, and that's what they did right there. Loss of one brings up second and 11. Seattle having trouble running the ball, but not throwing it. Big completion, first down and into blitz territory. They're going to say that Kiara Williams was down before that ball came out. And that is a hot shot, a laser on a route right up the seam from Matheny to Williams. Watch this throw, step, boom. That is an absolute missile. And unless there's someone sitting there in that zone, that's getting completed all the time. That's as good as throw as I've seen in the X League this year. What a rocket. Williams, one of the top targets in the pass game. It's gonna be a handoff to Malloy, unable to find any space. Able to pick up four, does the speedy back. Nice adjustment here. If you can't quite set the edge on offense, bring a crack block. That's what happened right there. Instead of letting that defensive end run up, they cracked on the inside. That allowed them to get the edge a little easier. Seattle marching down the field. Just over two minutes remaining before half. Again, the importance of this drive for Matheny and company. They need to respond. Matheny underneath to Malloy. Malloy bobbles it, able to come away, gets away from the tackler. Five, touchdown Seattle, Dominique Malloy. A slippery, speedy run in for six. Hey, let's get your athlete in space, zip it out to Dominique Malloy. It's one missed tackle and she's all the way into the end zone. That's what you're hoping for from that little play. It's just a couple of jukes, a couple moves, and there you go. It's six points for the Seattle Thunder. The speed of Malloy, so difficult to bring down one-on-one -on -one in space. And that's one where you can't fault Sidney Lewis. Sidney Lewis's job is to get his players in position to be successful on defense. It's the player's job that's got to execute. Huge two-point conversion attempt for Seattle. Can they tie it? Player in motion. Matheny flushed out. Matheny throws this one complete. And we are tied at 14. What a response from the Thunder. And what was the difference between that pass attempt and the other pass attempts we've seen? Well, there was no pass rush at all from Chicago. Minute 51 remaining in the first half. Dominique Malloy able to tie things for the Thunder. It's 14 all in semi number one. Welcome back, Showwear Center in Kent, Washington. Minute 56 remaining in the first half. Chris Michelson's side able to respond, and that was a huge response from the Thunder to tie it at 14. Absolutely, marching down the field, converting chunk plays, run plays, and Finally, a great run in. Well, Raymond gets another opportunity, able to find her target, gets out of the tackle across midfield and shoved out of bounds. 
big reception and run after the catch from the tight end, Brittany Albert. That's right, Brittany Albert. This is kind of a slow developing play. You'll see it right here. She's gonna sneak out into the flats and it's a lot like that touchdown we just saw from Seattle. That player, that's, they gotta make a play, missed tackle and shoved rudely into the wall there at the end. Some good contact, a lot of good contact tonight. There's some hitting going on out there today. The season's on the line, and they know what's at stake. The intensity level ratcheting up as we get to the postseason, as you would imagine. First and 10, a little pitch outside to Thompson. Thompson wrapped up a pair there for the Thunder. Great pursuit from Liz Tapler and Nene Gleaves. Really not anything Javel Thompson could do on a play like that. She runs around to the edge, and there's two. Seattle Thunder just sitting, waiting there, including number 88, Liz Tapler. That play was dead from the start. And the Chicago front, they're going to have to pick it up from that tight end position and hook those defensive ends, or that run will never work. So far, Tapler, the rookie out of the Empire State, making her presence known, particularly on the defensive side of things. Second and 11, Raymond. Plenty of time, steps up. Raymond, complete inside the 10. And it's gonna be first and goal for the Blitz. Raymond to Robinson on the big throw. And a lot of credit right here to Tamika Robinson. You've got a quarterback who's kind of scrambling, wondering where to go. She breaks her route off, gets in that open area, gets her eyes to the quarterback. That's the way you communicate. I'm open, throw it here if you're in trouble. That's exactly how you draw it up. I'm sure they've been drilled on that. Nice play between Raymond and Robinson for the Chicago first down. Mika Big Meek Robinson, second in the league in receiving yards. A pitch across the five goes the power back drain, and inside the five goes number 33. And the adjustment on hooking the defensive end was made. That's how you get to the edge. Here it is. Good job getting out there in space by Big 99. Deanna Hightower leading the way for Benita Drain. Good setup, good run, well executed play. Under a minute remaining in half number one. It's been a back and forth affair here between Seattle and Chicago. Again to Drain, she stood up in the hole and knocked back, got to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Kiara Williams with the tackle. Drain with a little bit of a cutback here. It's gonna to start to the right, cut back to the left. Nope, there is absolutely no run there. Four green shirts playing great team defense. Third and goal, clock at 30 seconds and ticking down here in half number one. Can Seattle get a stop? How big would that be? Drain lowers her head and powers in for the touchdown. Keep feeding her, drain the train with another tough inside run for the Chicago touchdown. A little cross action in the backfield. Here you'll see it, one to the right. She comes back the other way, gets that weight behind those pads and the powerful Benita Drain in for six. A rookie out of Bolingbrook, Illinois, who Coach Lewis says absolutely loves contact. She thrives on contact. We've certainly seen that to be the case. Chicago going for one, and they will go back to the well, keeping it on the ground across and in is JaVale Thompson. And absolutely no one there to set the edge for Seattle. A defensive miscue to be sure. She's almost all the way to the goal line before anyone even tries to reach out and touch her, and that's an arm tackle attempt from Liz Tapler, and an arm tackle is not going to get it done versus JaVale Thompson. Still plenty of time for Matheny here in the first half. 21 seconds in the Thunder. Tie things up before half. You see Matheny, six of 15, 80 yards, two touchdowns. Again, coming into this game, she is the best in the league. Six TDs, no INTs. No. In the beginning of the game, Chicago did a great job getting pressure from the edge. Now it looks like Seattle's made a little adjustment to slow that rush down. Let's see if Chicago's going to open something in the playbook here to see if they can get to the quarterback here towards the end of the half. Seattle with time, but they will have to move quickly. 
underneath to Malloy. Malloy able to get away from Holmes, couldn't get away from the second as Jay Dawson came in to clean things up alongside Kristen Campa. Same play they just scored on, the difference right there, they made the tackle on defense instead of missing the tackle. That's the difference between six points and a six yard gain. Seattle. You'd think you'd only have one play left here with six seconds. I don't know how you can get two off. So they're gonna try and make sure they get the one. They've gotta go the length of the field. I look for something, maybe some sort of a clear out route, just like what they hit earlier from uh, the deep where you have one player run all the way across and it's nothing but wide open field. Let's see what we get here. Chicago and prevent defense. Matheny, maybe her final play of the half. And Matheny throws this one into the stands with one second remaining. We'll have one more opportunity before halftime. And that play call was a little strange to me, Kit. That was not going to go the distance at all, unless, of course, you had another missed tackle. Maybe they were trying to sneak in two plays with six seconds left. Regardless, there's only one second left now. This one's either got to get to the end zone, it's got to be a missed tackle, maybe some sort of chicanery, a little hook and lateral, something along those lines, we'll see. Trip receivers to the top. Matheny fires this one down the field, intercepted. Flag comes in late. And Chicago picked off by Labrinthia Murdoch, but we'll have to see what the penalty flag is. And I'm not so sure that this may not be a pass interference course. Half can in on a defensive penalty. We'll see what we get. And there you go, you heard the official, one untimed down left. There's a deep ball in. We can't really see the contact. Looks like something that happens all the time. I think that's two rather favorable pass interference calls that have gone for Seattle. Regardless, move the ball up and you give KK Matheny and that fantastic arm one more shot to take it all the way to the end zone. We had trips on the last time, a bit of a Hail Mary look. We'll see what head coach and offensive coordinator Chris Michelson dials up for this, what should be the last play of the half. Matheny will get another crack at it from the 21 of Chicago. Certainly can put this one in the end zone and sends this one high. Incomplete, had her target, couldn't find Malloy. That would have been huge for Seattle. And I think this ball is just going to be a little too far to the outside. What a great effort. I hope she's OK. She went head first into the wall. That is selling out for the team. That's the kind of effort you expect in the playoffs. Halftime of semifinal number one in the X League. And it's the two seed Chicago Blitz leading 21 to 14 at the break. Halftime in the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington, site of our X League playoffs. And it's the two seed Chicago Blitz on top at the break. We take a live look in at the Seattle Thunder locker room at half. You are beating yourselves again and again. There is zero push on the offensive line. They are using and abusing you like you ain't shit. How many more opportunities do you think we're going to get? When the moment arises, Champions, take it and seize it. Runner-ups, let it pass by. So I suggest you leave everything you've got on that fucking field the next 20 fucking minutes. Because that's all I need. 20 minutes of hard-earned work. Strong words from the Thunder head coach, Chris Michelson. We'll see if they had the intended effect as we go to the second half. We've got a good one in Seattle in our first X League playoff semifinal. Two seed Chicago on top by seven as we take a look at our first half highlights. And well, it didn't take very long. Chicago with the reverse 
Tamika Robinson taking it the entire length of the field before the pregame smoke had even cleared. It was Chicago on top, eight to nothing. But Seattle, they would respond through the air. This one batted into the hands of tight end Savannah Wood. That made it Chicago eight to six at the end of the first quarter. And then the blitz roaring out with Fallon Dickens, the long bomb. And Matheny able to find Malloy underneath, got away from the tackler and took it to Paydirt, did the speedy running back. Anita Drain made an impact running the ball in the first half for Chicago and she was rewarded with a touchdown at the end of the first half. 21-14 Chicago with the advantage as we take a look at our first half stats. And Lane, what stands out to you? Well, what stood out to us immediately was Seattle not getting it done on third down. The Chicago Blitz, all three of their third downs converted. Seattle, look at that time of possession. 14 and a half minutes, almost three quarters of the possession, but they can't get it done on third down in the first half. Only one of four. I think that directly relates to Chicago having one more touchdown on the board than Seattle. Lane, that's, that is very similar to the first time these two met back in week seven when Chicago was four for five in third down conversion. Seattle was just five of eight. It's the winners. They will head to the Lone Star State, the inaugural X Cup on Saturday, September the 10th at the HEB Center in Austin. That is a long ways off and we've got a lot of football to play today in the Pacific Northwest before we figure out who is headed to the X Cup in Texas. Matheny in Seattle. First possession of half number two. They were stymied on more than one occasion in the first half in large part due to the pressure in the face of the star veteran quarterback. Matheny fakes the pitch around the side. It gets it to Malloy. Malloy across midfield. The 15, the 10, five. Touchdown, Dominique Malloy in Seattle. What a display of pure speed from Dominique Malloy, a simple option. There's only one Chicago Blitz defender out there. She can't play both quarterback and running back. Great decision right here by Matheny. Boom, there's the pitch, and Malloy turns on the afterburners and takes it to the house. That is the start Chris Michelson was looking for. Seattle will go for two, a chance to take the lead. They have not led today. They had things tied at 14. Tab, 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 hot, hot, go! They whistle before the snap. It's gonna go against the Thunder. Gonna have to put that one on KK Matheny. You gotta know the situation with the game clock. You gotta get that ball snapped. Unforced error there from the veteran quarterback. Where you see that from the veteran, she's as smooth as they come in Dad! most all instances. So now two point conversion go, 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 go. from the seven. Matheny takes to the air, no one for Seattle in the vicinity. And Chicago stays on top by the narrowest of margins. And there's that good edge pressure that rush up the middle from Chicago. Unblocked, really not anything KK he can do with Jade Austin running down or staring down the barrel of a gun. Got to throw that ball up, see if you can get it completed. It was incomplete, and Seattle still has yet to lead in this football game. Now we'll see if the Thunder defense can force a turnover, at least a turnover on downs, and keep Raymond in the blitz out of the end zone. Raymond inside her own 10, plenty of time. Raymond still time, directing traffic, finally takes to the air and throws it away. That offensive line can't, can't block forever. Those receivers look like they were all deep. Someone's got to come back to the quarterback and help them out. You can see, oh, there you go. Yeah, a couple of them fall down and run into each other and there's just no option. That's actually a really good play by Stephanie Raymond. She knew she didn't have any other option. Let's get rid of that ball and live to fight another day. 
Oh, what a rookie season it has been from the former point guard. And the little pitch here up across the 20. A good gain on second down. will make it third and short. Nice little wrinkle right there from offensive coordinator Allen Williams using that high motion. Instead of a pass, it's going to be a quick pitch out there from Raymond. That allows number 11, Javel Thompson, to hit that full speed. Good pickup on second down. It's the postseason. We knew we would see some new wrinkles, as you said, in the playbooks, and a good one there for Chicago. Third and three for the Blitz. Raymond under center. The handoff, first down, and then some from Thompson across midfield into Seattle territory. Good little inside sort of wing back trap from the old wing T days looking play. Here you go. Inside, there it is. Good job kicking out. Actually, a pretty good job by the cornerback from Seattle staying home and filling in and replacing on that gap. Otherwise, that play would have gone for even more. We have seen that two headed monster of Thompson and Drain really making hay on the ground for Chicago. And they'll keep it on the ground. Thompson is hit in the backfield. Kiara Williams on the spot. There you go. It's another safety down in the box, playing like an extra linebacker. Kiara Williams, she sees it. Boom right there in the backfield, and that play well diagnosed, and that play's going nowhere from the start. That is how you run fit right there. No gain, brings up second and 10. Two running backs, and instead to the air, touchdown, Chicago. Everybody eyes in the backfield and Robinson comes down with her second of the night. And I think you hit the nail on the head there, Kit. Everybody's eyes in the backfield. You've been running up the middle. You're setting up this play right here. It's a play action. The safety bites and blowing by them. Good touchdown catch right there, Tamika Robinson. Great touchdown throw, Stephanie Raymond. That is exactly how you draw that play up, and they've been setting that up all game, and they executed it when they needed it. Chicago with the handoff to Drain. Drain still on her feet, tries to keep the legs churning, and we will see, no, just short. Number 33 unable to get across on the point after attempt. And at the point of attack, the Seattle defensive line bowing their neck and playing that run, stuffing that run at the middle, getting penetration into the backfield. And there aren't hardly any running backs that have ever played football that are going to be able to make any sort of headway when a defensive line penetrates like that. Lane, that play may prove to be one of the biggest of the game. It is just a seven point lead. Chicago unable to extend it to eight. Absolutely, that gives them that two point conversion for the lead. That lead they have not yet been able to contain and achieve. But you know KK Matheny has sights on the end zone on this drive just like every other drive she's ever had. Dominique Malloy has done it on the ground and through the air. Again, they will keep it on the ground. This time, Nicole Holes picks up a few around the side. See Chicago's secondary fly up towards the line of scrimmage on that outside run. Watch them. Here's a little toss over to the left side, but the safeties are all coming up, and they're hitting when they get there, and there is nowhere for that running back to go. We saw Chicago, their last touchdown play. They caught Seattle looking in the backfield. Little play action. We'll see if Seattle does something similar. Second and eight for the Thunder. Matheny drops back, has her target complete to Malloy across midfield. And ball is out. Ball on the turf. It looks like Seattle was able to get back on top of it. And Chicago saying they have it. Emma Vanderheiden there. We have yet to see the referee signal who has possession. And let's take a look right here. I'm not convinced that the ball carrier wasn't down. This will be a great look at it right here. 
here's the, no, it is out. That is quite clearly a fumble. If they choose to review this play, it is going to Chicago. The Chicago bench fired up, forces the turnover, Vander Heiden on top of it. And here they come back on the ground with Thompson. Turnovers can make the difference, particularly in the postseason. And now a chance for Chicago to go up by two scores. You know, especially when you have two teams that are kind of swapping scores, you're waiting for someone to blink, whether it be a stop on fourth down, whether it be a turnover like we just saw. If Chicago can execute, that's going to put them up two scores, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on the Seattle Thunder. They'll bring up second and seven for the Blitz. Five minutes remaining in the quarter. Raymond with the design run. Raymond with the keeper across the 20 and down to the 17. And when you see a good, tough, physical run from your quarterback, the leader of that offense, and she's willing to put her body on the line right there, running hard, that really lifts your entire team when you see that kind of gutsy, physical effort from your quarterback. There's a reason they call Raymond a pit bull, the former point guard. So she is a coach on the field, an extension of their staff, and just gotten better every practice, every game this season. Hand off to Drain, the power back. Drain to the 15, but no further. That's a good job from Seattle. Number seven, Janitra Gleaves, forces that ball carrier back inside to her teammates who are coming in to clean it up. She doesn't make the tackle, here you go. She misses it right there. She gets back into the play, but just the fact of making that ball carrier cut back to the pursuit instead of bouncing outside, maybe it's not her tackle, but Janitra Glees is responsible for that play. The lane we saw at half, the stats, time of possession, very much in favor of Seattle. Chicago on a long drive here. They continue to take precious time off the clock as Raymond goes to the air and well over the head of her intended target, Tamika Robinson. Well over indeed, and I think if she puts that on a little lower trajectory and leads this quarterback a little more to the inside of the field, that ball's behind and that ball's high. Really not her best throw of the night, one I'm sure she'd like to have back. Second and 10. Two receivers to the top. Robinson in motion at the bottom. A handoff here across the 10. What an open field tackle on Drain. That is Kiara Williams who's giving up some size to big number 33. What a tackle for Seattle. Kiara Williams all over the place tonight. She's a little slow getting up after this, after a collision with Drain the train right there. That's going to take a lot out of you. You can't hit that big running back too many times before you're going to start feeling it. Williams giving up at least 20 pounds to drain, but no fear on the open field tackle there from number one. Drain again, hit in the backfield, and this ball comes out. No, they're going to say progress was stopped. Drain it down before that ball came out. And that time it's Nene Gleaves first to it. And it is number one, Kiara Williams again, right there. What a tackle. Both legs wrapped up, excuse me. I had the wrong player. That was Jamelia Adams right there. What a fine tackle in the backfield. And credit as well to McKenzie Tolliver. Fourth and six. And we'll see if Chicago is gonna talk things over before this fourth down. No, delay of game on the Blitz. So what was fourth and six? Now fourth and 11 for the Blitz. We talked about KK Matheny having an unforced error on a delay of game. You got to put that one on Stephanie Raymond. Got to know where that play clock is. You got to know how much time. There is a large difference between fourth and six and fourth and 11. Fourth and 11, advantage really goes to the defense on that down. Long fourth down for Raymond. Raymond to the air, this one knocked away. What a job defensively from Liz Tapler. Good job by Liz Tapler. 
knocking that pass down. But if this ball's thrown with a little more zip, it floats a little bit. If that ball's thrown with more velocity, that ball's going to get there on time, and that's going to be a touchdown. But the Seattle Thunder, they rise up when they need to. They deflect any sort of negative outcome from that turnover. And Seattle's got it down again. They're at a one-score game and a two-point conversion from taking the lead. 64 seconds remaining in the third quarter. K.K. Matheny gives Seattle the lead for the first time today. Their defense able to force the turnover on downs. Now what does the Thunder offense have? Williams in motion. Be a pitch back. Malloy, tough running all the way up, just shy of midfield. That is tough running right there from Malloy. Met in almost the backfield, the line of scrimmage by Holmes right here. You can see it, and it's a missed tackle right there. Good run. I think that's going to be actually number seven, Janitra Gleaves. The power back, according to Chris Michelson, and showing it right there. It was indeed the former Vanderbilt track star, Gleaves, with a big carry, has the speed, shows off the power. And a timeout taken by Seattle. 28 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Chicago on top by seven. A spot in the X Cup on the line. Who will head to the Lone Star State? who will have a chance to play for the ultimate prize. Stick with us. It's the playoffs in the X League. Chris Michelson, the veteran head coach of his side. This game shaping up eerily similar to the one back in week seven in Chicago, where the hosts were able to come away with that victory. Matheny rolls out, able to find her target for the first down. A big gain for Matheny and the Thunder. Matheny spoiled for choice on this. It's going to be a hard run fake to the left. Everyone with Chicago takes the bait. And which receiver do you want to throw to? Do you want to throw to number two, Nicole Holse? Or do you want to throw it further down the field? She goes further down the field. Good play from Seattle. And that'll be the final play of the third quarter. To the fourth quarter we go. Ten minutes remaining, all to play for a spot in the X Cup on the line. Will it be Seattle or will it be Chicago headed to play for the X Cup in Texas? Welcome back to the fourth quarter we go. Ten minutes remaining. K.K. Matheny, the veteran, take a look at her stats. Nine of 20, 106 yards, two passing touchdowns, and she has been under duress most of this game. Absolutely a good blitz package, a creative defensive game plan thus far from Sidney Lewis, the Chicago coach. And here we go, 10 minutes, and the X Cup spot is on the line. First and 10 from the 15 for Seattle. Big spot. Stop. To play in the title game. A little razzle dazzle here from the Thunder. And Kiara Williams, they are going to mark her just shy. It'll be first and goal Thunder after the huge gain from Williams. And a little bit of a razzle dazzle, but watch this missed tackle from the Chicago Blitz. They actually have players in the area, but just too much speed from Williams. And luckily, that doesn't go the distance. Cutting back up inside right there. There's the missed tackle that lets Williams out the gate. And it is first and very close to the goal line for the Chicago defense to have to stop this Seattle offense. Chicago was able to get a stop in the first half in a similar situation. Can they again here? Matheny wide open, complete to Williams. Touchdown, Thunder. Seattle now a point away from tying it, or a two-point conversion away from taking the lead, a lead they have not held today. And what a throw from K.K. Matheny rolling to the right, 
all the way across her body to the player dragging the back of the end zone. That is big league arm strength. Williams has had a monster ball game, but that her first touchdown of the day. And here it is, two point conversion, and they take the lead. They haven't been successful on one of these yet. Appears that they are going to go for one to tie it. We will see if that is indeed the case. You could see the frustration. KK Matheny signaling to her wide receiver. They went to the wrong side of the formation. Looks like Kiara Williams had a little bit of a mix up in her head. Good thing Chris Williams saw it before anything bad happened and called the timeout. Timeout taken, 8.40 remaining in the ball game. With the 25, with team pulling, yes. and Nini literally only having one girl to truck. Yes, she's gonna be able to pull, she's getting fucking random. Okay, they, you, can you truck her? Can you truck her? That's one girl on that side. Can you truck her and get in? Yes. You're going left. And you heard K.K. Matheny asking the running back, can you truck her? Can you truck her? You're going to the left. So I fully expect right here, this is gonna be a run to Seattle's left and asking number seven, Janitra Cleaves, can you truck, can you run over the only player to the left? Savannah Wood with the block and that is exactly what happens. Gleaves across, does her job. A great block from Savannah Wood. And we are tied at 27, 834 remaining in the ball game. And I tell you what's impressive about this is KK Matheny having such football savvy, being able to go to the sideline, talk to Coach Michelson on the same page. When we line up in this formation, there's only going to be one Chicago defender out to our wide side, and we can get the ball to Janitra Cleaves and let her do what she does. It's a coach on the field and a great conversion for Seattle. Coach Michelson effusive in his praise for his veteran quarterback says mentally she is on another level. And this is intercepted by Savannah Wood for Seattle. Raymond tried to go deep. Chicago looking to respond immediately and instead the INT from Savannah Wood gives it right back to the Thunder. Another underthrown ball from quarterback Stephanie Raymond. That one probably could have been a touchdown if it's thrown long enough, just like the previously underthrown ball. The difference here, Savannah Wood right there, ready to undercut that ball, go up and get it at the high point. We were able to see the Seattle Thunder defense bow their neck on the turnover. Let's see what Chicago can do. I believe. That's going to be a personal foul against Seattle as you saw Stephanie Raymond down on the turf. And what a turn that is. And what a turn that is. And you want to talk about what could happen here if, if Stephanie Raymond can't move on in this game. Your offensive talisman down. Looks like she's up and under her own power. And let's hope for her and for Chicago that she's going to be okay. Bailey Tad is the backup quarterback for the Blitz. Thunderbirds had very little opportunities in game situations this season. Here it is one more time. That ball's away, and that's going to get called absolutely every time. You can't take a cheap shot on a quarterback like that. First and 10 from midfield, and here is Tad out as the quarterback, and Tad well off the mark in her first attempt. As Raymond on the sidelines being attended to after the shot. Showing a lot of guts there, Coach Williams there, the offensive coordinator from Chicago, bringing in the new quarterback and letting her throw the ball from the very start, trying to catch Seattle, perhaps a little flat-footed. The ball's going to be off the mark. If that ball's a little bit further towards the sideline, maybe have a chance. But that is the first attempt of the year for the backup quarterback. Rookie, flip, six foot one, 170 flip. pounds. And it will be Raymond coming back. Missed a single play and 
Tough as nails is the former professional basketball point guard, and we knew if she could play, she would be back out, and she is after missing just a single play. They don't call you a pit bull by taking plays off. Raymond with the handoff. And what a tackle. Janitra Gleaves on Benita Drain again. Gleaves giving up some size, but a great open field stick. This is going to be, I think, number one actually coming up from that safety position. And that's a couple times for the defensive end for Seattle's done a great job making that ball cut back inside to the safety, Kiara Williams. And she has given up size, height, and weight. And she is a great tackler in the open field. That's very impressive. She's had a whale of a game tonight. Williams has indeed a great tackle there. Raymond drops back, flushed out of the pocket. Raymond hit by a duo of Thunder tacklers. It is Gleaves leading the way. And Williams there as well, the dynamic duo for the Thunder. Little play action pass, trying to throw it deep, and you just can't. Not with Janitra Gleaves is all up in your business from the start. Nowhere to go with the ball. Pretty good job actually there by Stephanie Raymond, not losing it, tucking that ball in and not having a turnover. And now you got third and long right here. We'll see what Chicago can do. Clock continues to tick down. Over six and a half remaining in the ball game. Raymond to the air, off the fingertips of her intended target. Had her wide open it was Fallon Dickens, couldn't bring it in. And good coverage right here by 88, Liz Tapler. There's the ball to Fallon, but really should have been caught. You know, you got to, you get both hands on that football, and in the playoffs, it's a big stage, and players got to make plays. You'd expect Fallon Dickens, after catching that touchdown earlier, to come down with that one. Fourth and 15. Raymond, sacked. Janitra Gleaves on the spot. Nene Gleaves with a huge sack on fourth and 15, and it's a turnover on downs. The Thunder will have it in a short field for Matheny. She had one sack coming into the game, and what an excellent time to get sack number two. No one touches her into the backfield. Not only it's a sack, it's a drive ending sack, setting up your offense that just scored with a very, very short field, and the future just got brighter for Seattle. The fans here in Seattle feeling it. Again, they have not led tonight. A chance to go ahead for the first time. It was a classic back in week seven when these two met in Chicago, and this one shaping up along the same lines. Matheny complete. First down inside the 10, and it's going to be first and goal coming for the Thunder. Good pickup on first down. Get it out there to the speedsters. They're throwing it out there quick to Williams or Malloy. That was Williams' time to catch the pass right there. Good power running. She's bet pretty quick and drags that pile for another three yards despite four Chicago Blitz defenders trying to get her to the turf. Twins right tight, 26 through. Drag, X delay, arrow from Shotgun. I'm a face you. Come on, ready? Ball on to the seven. Matheny. As would the tight end. It'll be enough for the first down. It's going to be first and goal from the two. Savannah Wood having a monster game. Absolutely. And selling out, going full speed into the wall. A little fake toss to the right. A little bit of a tight end screen back to the left. And you can see she's going full speed into that wall. She's tough. She'll shake it off, and she'll get back into the huddle. Wood, great footwork, the former college soccer player. Coach Michelson said she has had a huge jump in confidence, not shying away from the contact. We knew somebody was going to have to step up, and so far, Wood, one of the unsung heroes tonight for Seattle. You know, it takes guts to play indoor football. You're running full speed, and you see that wall coming at you, and you know, you got a choice. If I'm gonna go all out and try to sell out for my team, or I'm gonna protect myself, and Savannah Wood, she picked all out on that play. First and goal from the two. Holson in the backfield alongside Matheny. 
Pressure comes. Matheny throws this one up, incomplete. Good escapability for Matheny, not known for her top level speed, but she certainly has top level escapability from a good pass rush there from Chicago. Watch this on the replay in the backfield, a little bit of a move, trying to get the ball to the receiver, dragging the back of the end zone. Good heads up play. Good job being just movable enough to get that ball off and give your chance a team to score. Clock continues to tick down. 340 and counting remaining in the ball game. A little pitch around the side and in untouched. Nene Gleaves gives Seattle the lead for the first time in the ball game. And this is the exact same play they ran on their conversion. They go two receivers to the right, no one to the left. Toss sweep to Gleaves. There's only one defender out there. And like KK Matheny said when we saw her on the sideline, can you truck her? Yeah, Janicia Gleaves can truck her. You're not going to stop her one on one. And it's a touchdown for the Seattle Thunder. Leaves with her first touchdown of the night puts Seattle ahead. They will go for two. We're in shotgun on one, ready. I'm going to fake you from shotgun, here. Matheny elects to go to the air. Little fake toss, pressure in her face. Matheny throws this one up and almost caught. It came off the receiver and off the wall. Williams unable to bring it in. So it stays a six point Seattle lead. And that's gonna be tough. That's a lot to ask for a quarterback when someone's in there that quick. Really not gonna be able to get much going on that play right there. Credit that Chicago pass rush for putting Matheny under duress and getting the job done. That is really important because now that means Chicago can score and if they choose, they could go for one or two and win this ball game. That was Deanna Hightower, the tower of power, the veteran lineman in on the pressure for Chicago. Last time out, they turned it over on downs Really that first series coming out of halftime, the blitz showed a lot of prowess, but really not much since then. Hand off. Thompson picks up a few. They can't block the, the alley runners, the, the players that are coming from inside out on Seattle, Chicago. They can't do it. That's Kiara Williams again with another tackle. And they're just, they just can't get it done. They're going to have to adjust that scheme because they're putting that running back one-on-one -on -one with Kiara Williams. And Kiara Williams is winning every one of those battles. Second and eight for Raymond under center. Raymond, plenty of time. Tucks it. Raymond across the 20. Able to pick up some yards with the pressure bearing down on her. Seattle so far this game, they've done a good job. They may have not sacked her but the one time, but if you watch, you know that she's an incredible athlete as Raymond and wants to get in the open field and run. They're doing a great job spying that quarterback and she hasn't had any really big gains so far tonight. Two minutes remaining in the ball game. Seattle on top by six. It'll be third and three for Stephanie Raymond in the blitz when we return. Welcome back, Chris Michelson. As it stands, his side, they would be headed to the X Cup in Texas. But there's a lot remaining in this one. Semi-final number one, third and three for Chicago. Raymond, complete, able to find Labrinthia Murdoch. Murdoch still on her feet. A first down and into Seattle territory. Big players make big plays when they need to. Good throw right here from Stephanie Raymond to Labrinthia Murdoch, goes down and gets it, does a good job keeping her feet, holding onto that ball for the first down, moving those chains, 90 seconds left, and they need to score. They are six for eight tonight in third down conversions are the blitz. Underneath, able to find the release valve, and that's Brittany Alber, the tight end, and she is gonna be right at the first down marker. We'll see if it's good for a new set of downs. This is a very well-designed play. 
Everybody runs one way, and the tight end comes all the way across. Good catch by Brittany Albert. Good run. And I think most importantly, a great play design from offensive coordinator Alan Williams. Raven having to get the play call in quickly. 60 seconds remaining. First and 10 after the gain of 10 from Albert. Chicago, the flag comes in, miscommunication. The high motion player across the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. Quarterback's got to get that ball off. Once that high motion player's running full speed, they can't stop. Quarterback's got to be responsible for that. But B should be coming clean in the back of this end zone. I told her to go run to that back of that end zone. Coach Lewis saying Brinthia Murdoch should be coming clean. We'll see on this next play as you get a look at that previous flag against the Blitz. Seattle trying to get the fans into this one. Defense the chant here at the Showwear Center. Two touchdowns, 86 yards tonight for Raymond. But all that matters is this next play, and it's another flag. And another false start. What's going on? The fans making their impact in here in Seattle, home of the 12th man. The Thunder fans doing everything they can. Exact same as the last play. That high motion, got to get that play. I think maybe if I was Coach Lewis and Coach Williams, I might drop that high motion for a play. Otherwise, it's going to be second and even longer. The clock ticking down now at 30 seconds, second and 11. Season on the line for Raymond. To the air complete. Murdoch for the first down to the 15. Clock. You have to start using some timeouts here, kid. Just about to say, clock will stop for them to set the ball, but that is it. And you're looking right here at 13 seconds or so. I think you got two plays left. So you got to decide, what am I going to do? Am I going to try to get it all at once? 17 seconds, three, three plays left if you can do it right. First thing you got to worry about, though, is you got to get this first down. Ball on the 15, third and four. Raymond to the other side, caught. Oh, my, what a grab. Climbing the ladder and coming down with it somehow, Tamika Robinson. Got to go, get ready, get ready, get ready. First and goal, time of the essence. Check out that vertical jump right there. She'd like to have that at the combine. That's impressive. Right you are. They still have two timeouts remaining. One, I should say, they have elected not to take it yet. Thunder on their feet, rallying the fans. 10 seconds left, and this is very low, incomplete, well off target. And that was the play that they were trying to run when they had those previous back-to-back -back false starts. That high motion into the corner. And if that ball is delivered to the correct spot, that's a touchdown all the way because that receiver was wide, wide open. But a poor throw ultimately from Stephanie Raymond. Seven seconds. You've got time for two plays because you've got that timeout. But it's getting down to the business in this game, that's for sure. Season on the line, seven seconds remaining in the flag. It's gonna be full start against Chicago. They're third in this drive. My, oh my. What has happened right here with the execution on offense? Come here. Tamika! That is 15 yards. And penalties on this one drive on the same infraction. They all seem to be centered around this high motion. Again, I stated earlier, maybe it's time to go away from that. You don't want to keep moving backwards. They did put that second back on the clock. And you still got two plays here. You still got that timeout in your hip pocket. But first thing, let's get through a play without a penalty here, Chicago. Give yourselves a chance. The absolutely electric atmosphere here. Seattle fans on their feet in another whistle before the snap. 
And Seattle is going to take their final time out of the ball game. Interesting. Coach Michelson must have seen something he wasn't quite sure about. We saw about halfway across the field right there. That was kind of interesting. And I think that right there, I think that did less than some large level of confusion on the Thunder's part. I think this is going to benefit from Chicago to get over there and settle down. You're going to run to open space behind Tamika. Behind Tamika, run to open space behind Tamika. Come across. Huh? Huh? Tamika has a comeback. She has a comeback right at that goal line. Out of yo yo. You run right behind her. I mean, you come from that side, run behind her, hit B. Let's go. Wayne, you remember go. When these two teams met back in a week seven. We saw three scores in the final 90 seconds. It was an absolutely fantastic finish in this one. Setting up to be the same. That was one of the best ball games I've ever seen. And it looks like they're going to try and match it. Second and goal from the 13. To the end zone, off the fingertips. Incomplete. Murdoch unable to bring it down. You heard Coach on the sideline talking about running a comeback route to the left and throwing the ball into that space behind. This route's pretty vertical. I think Labrinthia Murdoch could have flattened that out a little bit more to the corner of the end zone. There would have been more space for Raymond to drop that ball into. And here we go. Likely the last play of the ball game unless there's a defensive penalty. And it is a trip to the X Cup for Chicago or it is a trip to the X Cup for Seattle. This is how football should be. What an end to this ball game. Just tell me when you want it. Season on the line. Right now, it's Seattle who will be making the trip to the Lone Star State on September the 10th. Winner will take on the winner of our game to follow between one seed Atlanta and four seed Austin. Chris Michelson's team be headed to the Lone Star State in two weeks. They can get a stop, one more stop. You would imagine that would be enough. What a second half this has been, Lane, particularly from Seattle. You mentioned they have just given up that one touchdown. They have scored three. You cannot let her do that. Absolutely. Coming in. Stacy, I want you to uh, who's, who's my team? 24, give me a good angle, Benita, up that sideline. Tamika under with that. Backside post. Wayne, former player, coach, you got one play season on the line. What's coming for Chicago? They've had a lot of success when they've run sort of a clear out concept throw into the open space on some sort of post pattern coming in from the back side. Let's see if they turn to that with the season on the line. Drain in motion. Raymond flushed out of the pocket to the end zone. Raymond caught. Touchdown Chicago. And the Blitz have tied it. No time remaining on the clock. What a play from Chicago. Labrinthia Murdoch with the game time touchdown. Kid, if I could sit on my couch every weekend for the rest of my life and watch Chicago play Seattle every time they play, it's just magic. Gutsy play, gutsy throw, gutsy catch, and here we go. It's on the line. All they need is one point, and the Chicago Blitz are going to the X Cup. I, we talked about it. The end of the game they played previously was just phenomenal. Coach Michelson, he doesn't know what to do. His hands are on his head. Whoa, what a finish. The season here, or will it be overtime? Chicago taking a timeout, and Chris Michelson, that is the first time I believe you and I have ever seen him at a loss for words. And he needs to rally the troops right here. That play's gone. Let's talk about what's going to come up next and how you're going to stop this conversion. Because if you don't stop this conversion, it's offseason for the Seattle Thunder. And the next time you're going to meet is OTAs in November. Under center, all out in the middle, outside state, okay? 
They're going to try to sweep or whatever. They can't do it. They're going to have to go to shotgun. They go to shotgun. Again, we have to press all three at the middle, all four. All right, bring the four. Center, safety in the middle. Not in the end zone. You got to get up. You got to get up. Corners on the outside, squeeze and pinch. Got to stop them here, guys. You got to stop them. Stay low. If you get high, she's going to drag you in the end zone. You got to stay low, and you got to get a good push, guys. We need OT here. Not a lot more to it. You heard it. Got to stop them. Absolutely correct. But Chicago, who had the lead. The vast majority of this game has come from behind to tie it. Can they find the point to head to the X Cup? Raymond with the keeper and across. It's Chicago headed to Texas. The Blitz will be in the X Cup. What a game in semifinal number one. Another instant classic between Chicago and Seattle. And for the second time this season, Chicago gets the better of the Thunder. And they now have the chance to play for a title. Stick with us here on Fan Pass. We'll have a semifinal number two coming up. It'll be one seed Atlanta taking on four seed Austin. The winner of that will take on Chicago Lane. We can only hope that that second semifinal is anywhere close to as good as this one. You know, the first half, it was pretty much all Chicago. The second half, pretty much all Seattle until right there at the end when Matheny, excuse me, when Raymond found Murdoch for the end zone and then calling her own number, Stephanie Raymond for the one point conversion. Hate to see someone lose this game. They play every time. It's just an absolute incredible sporting contest. This one's no different. Seattle could have won. Chicago could have won. Both teams deserving, but only one could go to the X Cup, and that's the Chicago Blitz. Congratulations to both of these teams, KK Matheny, Chris Michelson and their team, but it's going to be Sydney Lewis, Stephanie Raymond, and the Blitz headed to the X Cup. And what a way to start off our semifinal here in the doubleheader of X League playoffs for our entire X League crew. For my partner, Lane Gregg, I'm Kit McConaughey. Stick with us. Semifinal number two, Austin and Atlanta coming up. 